Hey guys, Brayden here for GSHelper.com, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up uh, Game Center achievements in your Game Solid game. The first step is to log into iTunes Connect, and you're going to go ahead and select your app. It'll bring you to uh, this page, and you can go ahead and select Manage Game Center. Now we want to set Game Center up for this single game, Enable. Okay, it's enabled, and we don't need to mess around with the leaderboards right now. You can scroll down and you'll see achievements, uh, and you can go ahead and click Add Achievement. All right, achievement reference name. All this is is uh, it's for you, so you can identify what achievement is you know what. So this can be anything really. So we'll just put down Bubble Ten, like it says here. Achievement ID. Now this is important because this is what we're going to use to uh, identify what achievement it is in Game Solid. So this needs to be something you can remember um, uh, achievement ID we'll just put down pop 10 right here point value now you can have you have 1000 points total for this game to give to the player um, and you can only have a, a max of 100 points per achievement so if I try to put in 200 it'll automatically go back to 100 but since we're only going to be popping 10 bubbles let's just say we're going to give them 20 points. It's not a whole lot, but it's not a hard achievement. Okay, so then you'll see hidden. Um, you, I'm going to go ahead and select no, but what this means is when you open the Game Center achievements on your iPhone or, or, or on your iPad, um, it, it, it usually tells you how to unlock certain achievements. Um, if this is hidden, then it won't tell you, it won't even show up. Your achievement won't even show up until you unlock it. Um, so you can create some really cool achievements with this, but um, for the demo, we're just going to say no. Achievable more than once, that's up to you. Yes, no. I'm just going to select no. All right, and then we're going to add a language. I'm going to go ahead and choose English. And for the title, I'm going to say pop 10 bubbles. The pre-earned description. This is where you want to tell the player how to unlock or you could you could do something else but I'm just gonna say uh, pop 10 bubbles to unlock alright the earn description this is like uh, when you uh, earn the achievement it's gonna slide down in your game and it's gonna show you the text you input here so it'll say you've unlocked you know achievement this and then we can say something like awesome job okay now image, this is uh, an image, a uh, custom image, it needs to be 512 by 512 um, so I'm just going to upload an icon, an older icon and once it's done loading I'll go ahead and click save. Alright so everything should be filled out now and you'll be able to click save and you'll see your achievement right here at the bottom bubble 10, achievement ID bubble 10 points 20. Um, so let's just go ahead and give them another achievement. Let's make one really quick. We'll, we'll call this one um, Bubbles 20. And for the achievement ID, we'll do Pop 20. Point value. Let's give them 50 points for this one. Hidden. No. Achievable more than once. No. Add language. We'll choose English and we'll say Pop 20 Bubbles. And then the pre earned description Pop 20 bubbles to unlock. You can put anything you want. Uh, earn description. Uh, we'll just do it again. Awesome job. You can put down something really neat. You know, it just gives the player a, a sense, uh, a good feeling when they, you know, unlock an achievement, um, and you, you say something cool. I think that's always cool. You know, say something like, "Ooh, you've ranked up to, to this." I don't know. It's up to you. Alright, I've uploaded my icon, you can click save, and everything should be filled out, and you can click save. Alright, and uh, you can add as many achievements as you want, as many achievements as you want. I'm just going to add two for this demo. Um, now you can go ahead and open Game Salad, and I've already created two actors. Uh, I've created the achievement actor, that's pretty much what we're going to use to trigger the achievements. And then I've created a bubble actor, even though it doesn't look like a bubble. I guess we could kind of go up here and give it kind of a color. Um, and I'll, I'll get back to that in a minute.
Okay, so we are going to go ahead and create a table, and we'll name this um, ID. You can go ahead and open that, and we're going to go ahead and uh, create two rows because we have two achievements. Um, so if you have 50 achievements, you're going to put 50 rows. All right, and we're going to go ahead and put text. All right, and this is where we're going to be putting our achievement ID. So you can go back into your web browser and check this out. All right, we have pop 10 and pop 20. Okay, so the first one will be pop 10, and the second one will be pop 20. Okay, and that's pretty much it. You'll just fill these out for all your achievements. You can go back home into your scene. Um, okay, so I've already filled these out, and I'll tell you what 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 I did. Um, I pretty much created a rule, and I said when game dot popped equals twenty, and game dot popped is just a number. It's just an indexed uh, index attribute that I made, and so I say when I touch this actor, uh, when I touch it, it's going to change it to game dot pop plus one. So it's just going to keep adding to that attribute. So we're going to say when game dot popped equals twenty. And I'll go ahead and redo this. Uh, we're going to do table cell value. For table, we're going to put in our ID. For row, we're going to put in 1 because that's a row for pop 10. And for column, we're going to put 1. Okay, so percentage, we want to make sure that this unlocks when they, eat, when they pop 10 bubbles. So we're just going to put percentage 100. Okay, for the next one, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, when game dot popped equals 20 so when they've popped 20 bubbles it's going to unlock this we'll delete that and we're going to go table cell value for table we're going to put in ID for row we're going to put 2 because that's where pop 20 is and for column we're just going to put 1 okay and again I've put this to 100 percent you can back out and you're going to drag this onto the scene I've already done that and I've uh, moved it out of the way um, so let me just give you another look at this actor here. I'm just displaying that attribute so I know how many times I've pressed it. Um, and so I, here's the rule. It's, it's pretty simple. You'll just go ahead and back out, drag this onto your scene, and click this. All right, here we go. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, we've hit 10, and Game Center isn't supported in the viewer, but this is when Achievement Pop 10 would be updated so that's when it would be unlocked alright so that's good and we'll go to 20 20 alright cool so this is um, the achievement pop 20 and so everything seems to be working you can go back out and um, yeah that's about it guys this is just this was just a really quick one just to show you guys how to set up uh, achievements in game center there's a different kind of achievements that you can do but these are the most you know uh, the ones you see a lot in games, and so uh, I just thought I'd go over those today. If you uh, have any questions, be sure to hit me up, um, and uh, we'll talk to you guys later.